Hello everyone, welcome to the Creative Hive. You are here with your host, Miss Bjarkadok, and today we'll be setting up Maya for animation. So the first thing you wanna do is set a project. By default, Maya has a default folder, but you wanna put it in your own folder. So you go to project window and set up new, and you can call it whatever you want. I'll be doing a walk cycle after this, so I'll be calling it walk cycle. You know, it's kind of obvious. And then you wanna save that. Afterwards, you want to set your project so that all your files save in the correct location. And then to make sure all your fits were good, you're going to save the scene. Call it whatever you want. Mine will be called walk cycle because that's what I'll be doing. And there you go. Everything is set and ready to go for that. Make sure you save. Now we'll be setting up our scene to make sure all the logistics are correct. So you be going into your animation preferences, which can be found down there or you can go via the menu. So what you wanna do is make sure your time is correct. You can either do 24 frames per second. Uh, I'll be doing it at 30 since I am in video games. And then make sure your time slider, this is just a preference of mine. I like to start it at zero. And then you have to make sure you'll do real time, not every frame, it has to be real time playback. Perfect, so that is done. Next thing I'll do is I'll be creating a shelf. This I'm new to this 2016, so I don't have my shelves anymore. And I'll be calling it Rigs. You'll know uh, later on in this video. Then I'll be importing my rig. I use Ultimate Boney for my walk cycles because it's an excellent rig. I will provide uh, a link down below for you to download it. So there he is. Next thing I'll be doing, we'll be selecting all the controls. Now I'm gonna be speeding this all up. Uh, you'll know why I'm selecting everything. Don't drag select, make sure you select every single control. You'll only have to do this once. Trust me, this is a one-time thing and you'll never have to do it again. Once you have everything selected, you'll go into your script editor down in the corner of the screen and you'll select everything you just selected. And you'll drag it and then you'll be middle mouse button, drag it onto your shelf and it'll save and you gotta save as mouse script. And there you go. So now you have, you can, instead of dragging or selecting all those again, you pretty much can just select that and it selects everything for you. It's super simple. This is such a huge time saver. And if you want, you can name it whatever you want because eventually you'll have a bunch of rig names and you'll be able to do that. So the next thing I'll be doing is I'll be doing my layout for my animation. I don't always animate in perspective. I like to have three panels open. So you go, you go three panel, bottom, top, it doesn't matter as long as it's three panels, it's good. So one, I will keep perspective, but then the other two, one, I will change to orthographic front and the other to orthographic side. This will help, uh, you'll see in my next video why this is a fantastic layout for when you are preparing your animations. So that is everything, that is my setup and how I prepare for my scene. And in the next video, I'll be showing you how I do a walk cycle. Thank you guys all for watching and I'll see you in the next video. Bye.